Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel, A Yogriya Organics. In this video, we will see about the advertisement for the post of scientist to be in pre cocoon sector in the Central Silk Board under the Ministry of Textiles, Government of India. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture education related videos in English in India. So you can share our channel with your friends also. So this is the advertisement that most of our agriculture postgraduate candidates were expected for a long time. Most of us have attended ICR SRF examination in order to apply for this post. So now they have given this notification. We can see in detail about this. So here they have mentioned the online application. So this online application started from today and the closing date of this application is 5th September 2024. They have given just here 15 days of time. So within this time we have to apply. So we have to take care of this one. And uh, next is here they have given some instructions. So you can just go through this one. Next here important thing is the qualification. So qualification should be in master's degree in science or master's degree in agricultural sciences from a recognized university. So it no need to be ICR or ICR accredited like that. If it is from recognized university from the central or state government means it's enough. So you can apply for this post. Next is age limit. The maximum age limit is 35 years on the closing date of application that is on 5th September 2024. On this date you should not have crossed 35 years of age. However, there will be age relaxation based on the category that they have given later. Next is selection process. The candidates those who have attended ICR, AICE, JRF or SRF PhD examination 2024. Here clearly note that they have given JRF examination. JRF means not for PG. So it is for PhD. This JRF fellowship is for PhD, not for PG. The students, those who will get PG fellowships is PGS, that is PG scholarship or NTS. So these two fellowships are for PG and JRF and SRF are for PhD. We have uploaded a clear video regarding this in our channel before two years only. But until now everyone is telling PG fellowship as JRF. It is not JRF, it is PGS. To apply for this CSB post, you should have attended this ICR JRF SRF examination in the year 2024 only, not prior to that. So this results have been released in recent days. So based on that mark, you have to apply for this. CSB. So here they have given subjects. In PhD entrance examination there will be different subject groups such as Crop Science 1, Crop Science 2, Crop Science 3 like that. So here there will be subjects of specialization in that subjects. So here if you are applying for genetics and plant breeding so you should have attended this Crop Science 1 group in ICER examinations. Similarly here you can see that that master's degree which you have studied that is eligible for this program is genetics and plant breeding. Next is if you are applying for this plant genetic resources and if you have studied plant genetic resources in your MSc or botany, those who have studied botany also can apply for this post and agricultural botany and for sericulture is only for sericulture and if you are applying for this entomology then if you have studied agricultural entomology or entomology plant protection or zoology with specialization in entomology. So these subjects you can apply for this one. And uh, next is plant pathology, plant physiology, molecular biology, biotechnology, animal nutrition. Next is uh, forestry, agricultural physics, environmental science. Next is agronomy, soil science. Next is agricultural economics, agribusiness management, agricultural extension education, statistics, farm power and machinery. Notification have been given for the vacancies in these subjects. So that's why they have given this subjects of specialization with eligibility criteria. As I mentioned already, you should have got the score from this year only, not any other year. So during the year 2024 only, you should have attended this ICR PhD entrance examination, not prior to that one. Next is this cutoff mark will be decided by the competent authority only. Here they have given this projected vacancies. The projected vacancies for different subjects are varied. So here for crop science under genetics and plant breeding, three vacancy and plant genetic resources 3 vacancies and sericulture 43 vacancies entomology 17 plant pathology 2 plant physiology 2 molecular biology and biotechnology 4 next is uh, animal nutrition 3 forestry 5 agricultural physics 2 and environmental science 1 agronomy 8 vacancies soil science 4 vacancies agricultural economics 4 vacancies and uh, agricultural extension 10 vacancies statistics 7 Farm power and machinery 3 totally 122 vacancies cumulative of all the subjects. Here they have given some of the reservations for backlog post. 
this backlog post means they have given notification for this post during the last year but due to the unavailability of the candidates that vacancies are still left so number of vacancies for this post are notified here so here for sericulture four backlog post are there so it is for pwbd category only under pwbd category four vacancies for sericulture is under backlog similarly for entomology for agronomy extension education totally eight backlog vacancies are here so the short listing will be based on icr jara fund srf examination there will be the personal interview so for this they will call for interview which will be decided by that competent authority only the ratio will be decided by competent authority so you can note down here next is a final merit list will be selected in the discipline wise and specialization wise on the basis of the merit and it will be decided by the selection committee you can note down this one it will also be decided by selection committee only and uh, they have given some of the reservations and relaxations and other conditions you can go through this one and here how to apply so you have to apply through online mode in www.csb.gov.in so you can apply through here and you can go through the information bulletin of icr also and the last date for recipient of this application is 5th september 2024 and the application fees is the candidates belonging to the unreserved ews obc ex serviceman category are required to pay the non refundable fees are 1000 rupee so this is uh, you have to pay the fees and if they are belonging to sc st pwbd and female candidates no need to pay for registration fee you can see that female candidates so if you are female you no need to pay this fees you may be from any category if you are from obc or general or ews category also if you are a female candidate you no need to pay this registration fees so given this procedure so you have to submit this data online and uh, upload the photo and the signature everything and uh, they have to generate the chalan and they they have to do the payment at any office in india post you have to go to post office and you have to do this payment and the last day for payment of fees is 69 2024 you can note down this one and the candidates need to upload this uh, documents support of their age essential qualification and the score or admit card of nta so the score card has been already released and the admit card also already released if you are not having this admit card you can download from icr nta portal this may not be appear in future so if you have, if you are not having that one you can download from that one and the cast category and the experience and undertaking so all this what they have given you can upload the proof in regard to all this this is a payment details should be updated and the candidates would be able to download application so after completing your all your payment you can download your application so you have to keep it very safe next is here what are the documents to be uploaded they have given date of birth certificate that is 10th certificate 10th certificate will be the base for all over name next date of birth everything next is essential qualification that is a degree and a mark sheet pg degree and a mark sheet next is icr score card or admit card next is a category certificate pwbd category if you are applicable for that and a experience certificate if it is necessary you can give that one next is uh, here they have given this important uh, information first is only indian nationals are eligible to apply that is okay and uh, this is very important point so here you can note down that all educational qualification should be from recognized university or institution or board recognized by government of india that is okay regulatory bodies and the result should have been declared on or before 5th september closing of application so before 5th september 2024 you have to get your pdc that is provisional degree certificate if you are getting certificate before this date you are eligible to apply for example if you are doing your second year msc now you have scored a very good mark in icr phd entrance examination but if you are not yet submitted your thesis till now okay if you have not yet done this one you complete your thesis as soon as possible and you get your pdc before this time and you have to apply if you have scored a very good mark you may be called for the interview and there is a chance to go inside this job so that's i am telling because icr not yet released a rank card icr may release in one week or two week like that we don't know when they will release if they release rank card it will be better to know your rank based on that you can apply you are thinking your mark is good and rank will be very good then you can apply even if you are second year msc student try to get your pdc as soon as possible so that you are eligible to apply for this central silk board posts i will give the link of this pdf and the website in the description of this video i hope this video will be useful to you if you are new to our channel you can subscribe our channel thank you